On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can prevent hair and other particles from going down your bathtub drain so you can finally stop fishing out and trying to pick out all that nasty gunk and hair out of your drainage. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So first off, I'm going to be showing you a typical bathtub setup, just like what you see here, and a typical drainage system. Here is our bathtub. There's our drain. This is mostly where you unscrew this. Just a quick backstory. This drainage right here inside clogged a bunch of times, and I ended up having to pull out a lot of hair. I'll be showing you where it ends up clogging it's right here this needs to be cleaned out soap suds the soap and all the hair they start getting trapped and start overlapping each other around this cross hair if you go down further down the pipe that's where all the clog is starting to build up as well so you want to do preventative stuff so usually my main go-to tool is just getting a regular coat hanger and pretty much start fishing out whatever you can out of there but how do you prevent that? So I came across this product and there's two versions of this one and it's called the, the Tub Shroom Ultra and the other one is just Tub Shroom. So in my house I have a different drainage. So this is also another product from Shower Shroom and this one is made for that typical one which I'll show you in a bit when we go back to my house. So stay tuned for me showing you how to install this. Just a quick note, I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I bought this with my own money and I just wanted to try it out for myself. But this one's the tub shroom. It's guaranteed to catch every single hair. Hmm, every single time you take a shower. I'll show you how to install it and we'll do a good old test. It's pretty much made out of soft rubber. Now this comes in different colors and pretty much this acts just like a cap. You are not gonna be using this anymore, but I suggest that you save this just in case for future use but i had a subscriber who was saying how do you stop the hair from going through there because i'm so tired of using that little pick or that little hair rod that you stick in there to fish out all that nasty stuff this is the easiest one you can do and you can just insert it effortlessly through here and it's soft right here so it flexes and it conforms to the contour of there and there you have it easy as that it sits about about one inch. I, I took some of my wife's hair extensions. She might get mad at me. I actually cut it so I can. I didn't want to use her hair. The hair here. Let's go see how it goes. So it looks like the flow is still going really nice and well. And let's see how it held up. So, so looks like all that hair got wrapped around here and you can just easily take it out like that really nice okay now let's test out the other one it's kind of similar this one's called the tub shroom ultra it's actually made out of metal it looks a lot nicer and it comes with these other adapters as well so this fits your standard um drain just like what we're going to be showing you there later on but you can take this out if you have a bigger drain you can insert this through just like that if you have a bigger larger drain hole and this one as well if you have a smaller one oh okay to accommodate a much smaller hole as well so three different types of sizes we're going to stick with the standard one if you compare this to this one it has the same diameter this one's a, lot, a little more expensive because it does come with the optional stopper you can use this for your sink as well this one for your sink too if you choose just plug it in definitely need to clean that but so just this being installed it looks way better it pretty much matches better on the drainage than this one so let's take this out and let's compare it to what it looks like to this see that and if you take this one off put this one definitely looks a lot more sophisticated and looks like it's actually part of the drainage but does it work the same and as effective as this one do the hair test i mean 
it's still gonna be preventing that hair from going through. Just by looking at this aesthetically, it looks a lot better. In my honest opinion, it's all about preference. They both are gonna perform just as good. And for the other one, it will have a stopper, just like this, just in case you wanna take a bubble bath or whatnot. But price-wise, this is $14.99 on Amazon. This is around $10, so, if you're interested on this, I'll leave a link on the description down below. Check these products out. Now let's go test out the third product. So this version of the shower shroom, I'm going to be testing out now in our shower because our shower is a little bit different. It's not that small opening type. So this type will definitely fit our shower. So let me show you what we were using before. This shower shroom version is very simple. It's just around here has a perimeter rubber inside it's all graded different um it's, it's metal or aluminum i don't know what it is but on the middle though it's on the middle there's a little rubber smaller version just like what we put on the other bathtub but this one it pretty much collects through there and you can lift it out to clean it and you can even just take the whole thing off and clean it from there this is what we were using before as a strainer this is our old one um you i have to use a flathead screwdriver to take this off but on this one, this is a little plastic kind of cheap version. We just kind of put this on top. This get kicks out and then it still falls through there. So there's really nothing catching it. We're just kind of depending on this to stay in place. And this moves around a lot. I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to pop this off. It will move around like this. So you have two options. You can use silicone type. This is the Supreme silicone. This is 100% waterproof. This is a uh, mold free sealant so make sure you use that and make sure that it is 100 percent waterproof now you can use that you can caulk around here like there place it on top and it would be just stuck there and that's what you do but i don't want that what i want to do is i would just want to place this on top i I'm, there's probably an adapter somewhere over there where there's a little strainer in the middle where you can place this on top but I'm just gonna customize this because if you look right here, there are snaps right there that pretty much if you push on here, it pretty much snaps in place and it doesn't move. So I'm gonna do a little bit of customization. Now again, this is optional. This is total customization for this. If you can find a strainer like this with a hole, perfect. But for me, I'm just gonna reuse what I have and make do and make it custom. Find the middle and then we're gonna trace out. So there we go using my Dremel tool with the easy lock, thin cut. So let's clean up the edges and make it nice and clean so we don't get snagged. All right, so now we just test fit it. So there we go. Test fitting it fits perfectly now this will sit lower to the edge than the existing cap okay so now let's go inside and test it out and snap it on just like like that get rid of this cheap plastic one probably doesn't even work that well it works but not that well this one will snap slide now really nicely on the top see that See how nice and flush that is now? It doesn't move side to side like it did before when we didn't have it. I highly suggest that you do this option actually. There you go, you can just take it off. Kind of just go and push it in. There you go. Nice and flush that is with the shower floor. Get it all, <laughs> trying to wrap it around for you friends. And there you have it. All you gotta do now is just lift this up. And there's all the hair tangled up there. Nice and clean there. And there you go. You can clean it right, right out. Place this back in. Still nice and sturdy. All good. So there you have it friends. That's how you install the shower shroom on this type of version. 
customize it the, whichever way you like. There's no wrong way to do it. Just as long as you make it work for you. Again, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions and which shower room version that you prefer. And if you're interested on these shower room products, again, I'm not sponsored. Check out the link on the description down below. I'll leave all the three types on the, the link down below. Check those out. So once again, friends, if you found this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you friends in the next how-to DIYs and product review video. Till next time.